oil field to gold mining to ghost mine and back to the oil field again. Only this time in the oil field we're actually going to go full time RVing. With part of that, you know, I have to give kudos to my wife because we have been on some crazy ass adventures and they're just now getting more intense. Um, this time around in the oil field, I've already lost two friends. Um, great colleague, Mike Cooper, and a personal close friend, a very, very close friend, Carlos. Which is one of the reasons why I'm okay with doing the RV living because we will be closer to where Larry's working. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that he won't have as long of a drive. When you start thinking about losing friends, it kind of reminds you how fragile life is. And uh, I know Carlos wasn't too tired when he was driving. That accident was caused by a truck driver that was probably tired and crossed over the median and hit him head on. And uh, we are definitely keeping his wife Haley and his kids in our prayers. But uh, I think we've come down to a conclusion on which RV we're going to be living in. And the reason we have chosen it is because of the insulation package, the quality of the build, uh, the accessories, the amenities, the things that it's included. So all the options that are available and the things. So, you know, Stacy, we have our Full washer and dryer, washer our dryer. real refrigerator, um, three AC units because we will be in extreme climates from the heat of southern Texas all the way to the freezing winters of North Dakota. Our lease is up here at this cute little house in Odessa, Texas at the end of April. Time frame wise, I mean, we haven't picked out the RV yet. We've been looking for three months now. We opted to sell almost everything. I put up almost everything. I didn't put the washer and dryer up, obviously. I don't want that to go yet. Uh, almost everything sold. <laughs> so to me, that's a sign that we're on the right path. This is what we're supposed to do. I've just been sitting out back today, siliconing the bottom of all my plates. I know that Larry just got in a big old box yesterday of some ding dang thing that he bought for the truck to get it prepared to be able to haul the trailer and also so that it's running in top notch so it should save us some money even though I think we paid about a thousand dollars for it so it better save us some money that's all I got to say Breakfast is ready, yep. and now we have our new juice with Attitude installed by Edge Products. And uh, the only thing I don't like about it is it keeps your uh, factory speed limiter. But I think I found a workaround on it. We'll share it later. But uh, for what we're planning on doing, pulling our trailer and my daily driver, I think it'll work just fine. Increased fuel economy, better efficiency a lot of really fun gauges to play with. The most important one on the uh, 7.3 Power Stroke, because it is such a reliable engine, is your exhaust temperature. So your EGT is your number one killer of this engine. And as long as you don't exceed, you know, about 1300 degrees, you should be all right. Uh, ideally, I like to keep them around 1100. So that's the most important one to monitor for this engine. This one's got 309,410 miles, and we plan on getting 500,000 before we So, thank you for watching. Like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to ask at any time. We're always around. Or advice for full time RV living um, or whatever else that you might like to share with us beings we're sharing with you so down below leave us a comment we love that it's going to be fun to interact i mean this is going to be for the next few years so 
I hope it's beneficial to you, but I also hope that it's some entertaining to you, too. <laughs> Come here, Wiener. All right, well, we're going to eat breakfast. Spins, this is like Larry's only day off ever, seems like. And uh, we'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye for now. Peace. God, we're getting old. Look at this. All the gray. I just feel old. That's all I feel when I see a camera. Yeah. Well, that's why I stay blonde. <laughs> it better save us some money. That's all I got to say. Better save us some money, Larry. So what is this thing I've been telling everybody about that you're installing? We'll do this in the house. And then I'll give all the details. Edge juice with attitude. So this is our adventure. We are getting ready to do full-time RV living. And we wanted to make sure that we're bringing you on our journey so that you can experience it right along with us in case this is something you are considering. The one thing I do want to do is upgrade the toilet. That's not what you Sitting on plastic is just not my thing. I'd rather have porcelain, something solid underneath me. <laughs> then we got to have a heated seat. You now, if we're going to do this, just go all the way. Heated seat, you know, why not? It's already got a hose you can wash your butt or the toilet out No. With. It's not for washing your butt. Should, yeah, it is. No. It's a bidet. It's a hose. Yes, it is. I've been to India. Haven't you been over there? I have been to Italy and there's bidets, but the RV, that's not no, a bidet. India, they have the toilet and then they have a hose right there to wash your ass. No. Yeah. In my book, that's to wash the toilet, not your person. Get in the shower. It's, it's clean water. Sammy. My dog's eating grass. And, uh, oh shit. Yeah. Well, what do they need to do to not miss out on our adventure? Yeah, I was getting to that part. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> don't need to be prodded. I'm not Obama, I don't need a teleprompter. Yeah, oh. so uh, be sure to like and subscribe below. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask anytime. Um, you know, you can follow some of our stuff on Facebook. Uh, I have my page, Larry Overman. Stacy has hers for Stacy's Angel Kisses. And then you can have our joint page, which is, you know, the Ghost Mind, Larry and Stacy Overman. Uh,